Snake said in the comment section and got nearly 600 likes. This is where we need to draw the line. If a player can transfer out multiple times because this crap is getting ridiculous, and I agree. The portal is going berserk yet again, but come on, man. Did you expect anything different? This is the new and modern era of college football. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the transfer portal, it's reopened like the hole for Minutemen. Y'all remember that movie, right? Minutemen, I'll pop up a picture right here. That is one of the most underrated movies of all time. I loved that movie as a kid growing up. As a matter of fact, I need to watch it again, but that's right besides the point. The point is, in that movie, you got this black hole that reopens up in the city. I can't remember if they called it a certain name, but we're just gonna call it the black hole. If that's not a good reference, you could also say that the transfer portal has reopened up like the Upside Down World did in Stranger Things, if you've seen that show. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. I think you get the point. The portal, it's back open. And I know, I know, I know, I know. I shouldn't be shocked that it's already going haywire, only less than 48 hours of it opening, but I am. I didn't expect all this to happen. There's a lot of movement going on, especially with some big time and notable players. We're going to talk about that. This topic is so important. This is the one and only topic we're going to be talking about in tonight's video. This is the second college football news video we're making for today. And before today, months went by without us having a college football news video. So I can't tell you enough how excited I am to talk about this and how grateful I am for the opportunity. It is very rare for us to have some meaningful topics to talk about in the offseason, so anytime we got the opportunity, we got to relish it. The portal's going berserk, man. What more can I say? Strap in, buckle up, get your snack, get your popcorn, get your fair meal you like to even watch a video because trust me, I do the same thing. But all right, man, blah, blah, blah. Shut the crap up. Not after that, don't. Yes. Get it. All right, so first things first, one of the more notable guys that entered his name into the portal first is no other than five-star cornerback that played for Colorado, Kermani McLean. Due to us already making an entirely separate video about that earlier this morning, or earlier this afternoon, I guess I shall say, we're not going to talk about that whatsoever. If you want some more information, more details, go check out that video. To go along with him entering the portal, take a look at this. Oregon State star running back, and let me emphasize that word, star running back, this isn't some Joe Schmo, Danny Martinez, he entered the portal. This is the one I'm going to tell you to circle and keep your eyes on because he can be an immediate impact type of player. And also, he's going to be one of the best running backs in the country regardless of where he goes. The only thing that shocks me about Damian Martinez entering the portal is I'm surprised he didn't do it in the most recent portal. Because remember, Oregon State was already falling apart. So for him to stay, that did shock me a little bit. However, I guess he came to realize it's not going to be a good fit or he just doesn't want to stay there. So he's going elsewhere. Also worth throwing in there noting, one of the main reasons he stayed at Oregon State is because they gave him up to $400,000 in NIL money. So here'd be my one question with that. And if you know anything about this, let us know in the comment section. Does he have to give back that four hundred thousand dollars or how's that gonna work take a look at this in the comment section tennessee will give you four hundred and ten thousand son well i don't know if they're trying to be funny or troll but i tell you what they're not lying because tennessee will four and a k turned down is unreal yeah i agree but i think a lot of people don't understand to all these big time schools like ohio state especially ohio state They'll not only match that, but they'll give them more. Ohio State was an example, by the way. I'm not saying he's going there. There's no shot he goes there. Ohio State, they already got too many running backs. I'm going to be honest, though. I don't think this is an NIL situation. From everybody I've talked to, Damian Martinez, he is focused on football, not money. He's focused on getting to the NFL. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. Yes, these NIL deals, they're great. They can help these players out. And they can help these players' families out. But compared to NFL money... You're talking about pennies on the dollar here. What's $400,000 to a first round NFL draft pick? I'm not going to say chump change, but uh, no, I might say that. Yeah, it's chump change. As to where it stands right now, these are your five schools to pay attention to. Miami, Mississippi State, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Arizona. Why do I say pay attention to these schools? Because he's already locked in five official visits with them. He's also, as to when I'm speaking, the number one player in all the transfer portal. I made a phone call earlier today, and from everything I've heard, and this is just from one of my sources, Miami's the front runner in all of this. So pay attention to the youth there. If I had to give you my top three out of these five schools, I'd say Miami, obviously, like we just talked about. Tennessee, that's going to be my dark horse, and Arizona. Moving along here, news came out yesterday that former Alabama and former Iowa offensive tackle Caden Proctor, he's officially entered the NCAA transfer portal. However, he has a do not contact tag on him. We talked about this messy, and I mean messy, situation a couple months ago. For those of you who don't know, Caden Proctor, star offensive tackle at Alabama, and he originally played at Alabama. He's a starter last year, started almost every single game. Nick Saban decides to retire, he enters the portal, and he goes to Iowa. A couple months go by, we don't hear anything out of him, and next thing we know, 
He's leaving Iowa, and he's heading back to Alabama. Some people also may be confused by this because they're like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought he was already going back to Alabama. And yes, he has intended on doing that, but he couldn't make it official until the portal reopened, and which it did. And one thing that influenced Proctor to transfer away from Iowa for the second time, and I'll get to that in just a second, is during spring break, which was only around a month or two ago. Well, yeah, in March, he went on spring break in South Alabama, I believe it was Gulf Shores, with some current Alabama players. He got along with them great. I'm sure they talked about some memories. I'm also sure there was some, you know, tampering involved. These players saying, hey, why don't you come back to Bama? And here we are. He did Iowa so dirty, and if you don't know the full story behind it, I'll sum it up briefly here. Coming out of high school, he originally was committed to Iowa, and at the last second, he decided to go to Alabama. So this isn't Iowa's first rodeo with O'Kade and Proctor. Like I just said a couple minutes ago, Saban retires, he enters the portal, and he goes back to Iowa for the second time. And now here we are. He has re-entered the portal officially, and the reason he has a do not contact tag is because it's obvious he's going to Bama. Snake said in the comment section and got nearly 600 likes, this is where we need to draw the line. If a player can transfer out multiple times because this crap is getting ridiculous, and I agree. Some people are quite confused about this in the comment section because they're getting the I guess you'd say perception that he is entering the portal again and now he's leaving Alabama. But no, 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 that's not the case. This is all just to confirm what we originally thought months ago. Caden Proctor's going back to Alabama. There is some confusion there. Hope I cleared it up. As an Alabama fan myself, I welcome him in with open arms, no animosity whatsoever, and that's why it's very important in this life not to burn bridges. Whether you're in college football, business, etc., do not. I don't care how bad it is, do not burn bridges with anybody. You never know when it's later in life, five, ten years down the road, when you're going to need that person. Although I will say, I hope we don't see more situations like this because it's just a little too much. This wasn't what the transfer portal was intended to be. And it also goes back to prove a point I've been saying on the channel now for years. The grass isn't greener on the other side. I could talk about that all day, but we ain't going to move on. Take a look at this. TCU's star defensive tackle Williams, he is also entering the portal, which was just announced today, by the way. He will also, similar to Damian Martinez, be one of the top overall players in the entire portal, regardless of position. This is a young man I think a lot of schools are going to go after because you can't have enough beefy defensive tackles or defensive line. Man. Georgia wide receiver who was a top 70 overall recruit in the class of 23, he entered the portal. He goes by name of Tyler Williams. That's going to be a little sleeper name to watch out for. This one was gathering some buzz as well. Might as well talk about it a little bit here. Miami quarterback Ja'Curry Brown, I believe that's how you say his name, he entered the portal. There's a lot of hype surrounding his name, although he needs a year or two to develop. He could potentially be one of the better quarterbacks in college football if he puts all the pieces together. And oh yeah, by the way, shout out to Hayes Fawcett. I mean, no introduction needed. If you keep up with the channel or college football to the slightest, you see all the stuff he posts. He is on top of the game on Twitter. We use a lot of his posts because, well, he's good at what he does, and he explains everything. Just want to give some recognition and love there, but continuing along here, Texas A&M safety Jacoby Matthews, he entered the portal. This one really grabbed my attention because, for those of you who don't know, Matthews was a part of that legendary class that Jimbo had in 2022. And in that class, he was ranked as not the third, second, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, etc., but he was ranked as a number one overall safety in the class of 2022. And for the Aggies, he's been a very solid player. 67 tackles, one interception. And I wouldn't label him as some game changer, but he's a really good player that can start on most teams. And last but not least, the final player we're going to talk about in today's video is no other than Hayes. Not Hayes Fawcett, ironically enough, but Hayes, the edge rusher for Pittsburgh. Pretty solid edge rusher in his career at Pittsburgh. He had 13 sacks, three forced fumbles, and 27 tackles for loss. The reason I share this one is because I know Hayes isn't some household name, but I wonder what type of teams are going to go after a guy like this. Is he good enough to join an SEC team? If so, what caliber of an SEC team are we talking about? Would you potentially see a team like LSU, Tennessee, who else? Oklahoma, Texas, go after a guy like this? Not too sure about that, but here's one thing I do know. He's most certainly good enough to play for a team like South Carolina. I think he could easily play and be an impact player for some of your average to slightly above average teams in the SEC. The portal's going berserk yet again, but come on, man. Did you expect anything different? This is the new and modern era of college football. We'll see what happens. I haven't heard too much news about him, so if you know anything, fill us in in the comment section. Yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. But